Hello everyone, I'm Supervisor Jim Desmond. And hey, I've heard from a lot of people about how do you speak at a uh, Board of Supervisors meeting. So I'm in the County Administration Building right now in room 310, which is where we hold our Board of Supervisors meetings. The address is 1600 Pacific Highway. It's right across the street from the uh, Star of India. The, our board meetings are held on the third floor. So when you come in, this is your opportunity to speak up and hear, uh, let your voice be heard at the Board of Supervisors. So we're here now on the third floor of the county's building on 1600 Pacific Highway. And the door here, this is where you enter to come in on the third floor, the northern end of the building, to come into the board chambers to submit a speaker slip. So you come into the board chambers and immediately to your left, and this is if there's not a lot of speakers that day, you, you see the speaker slips. There's a speaker slip to request to speak in opposition to an agenda item, a request to speak in favor of an agenda item, or to speak on non-public or non-agenda items, you fill out the white slip. These slips are right here, and then you, fill, you, hit, you hand your slip then to the person that's sitting here before the meeting and to get yourself on the list as a speaker for the meeting. For each board meeting, there's an agenda, which you can find online, or when you come here to this desk, you can you see the uh, printed agenda here. And you need to find the agenda item number that you want to speak on. And so either in, on your request to speak in opposition or in favor, you put the agenda item there on the speaker slip, you fill out your name, and then wait for your name to be called. There's also non-agenda item public comment, which is we hold at the beginning of the meeting, and then if we have extra speakers, we'll hold at the end of the meeting. You can speak on any topic you want at all. The only caveat on speaking on a non-agenda public uh, uh, non-agenda item is we can't take any action. We, the board, can't take any action on that on whatever it is you bring up because it's not agendized for the rest of the public to know about. So you can speak on a non-agenda public item, which are usually held at the beginning of the meeting, like I said, or, or towards the end, uh, if, if we can't get to everybody in the beginning. And one note on the uh, non-public agenda item uh, speaker slips, those have to be in by 9 a.m. before the start of the meeting. These others can go right up into the public comment port section of the agenda items, but the non-agenda non items uh, speaker slips need to be in at 9 a.m. or right before the meeting. So when your agenda item comes up and you're getting ready to speak, if they call when they call your name, and normally it's in groups of five or larger to have people come up to be ready to speak, you come over right here by the table where you submitted your slip at, and normally people line, would line up here and wait. And normally you can line up in any order once the names are called. And then from here, once, you're, once you, you come up to speak, this is the podium that you're gonna be speaking from. Podium's got a little red light on the microphone letting you know that it's on. And from here is where you address and, and talk to the Board of Supervisors on your particular agenda item. So public comment is normally two minutes per person that you get to speak on, on your topic. And there's a timer, a little screen on the podium that'll let you know when your time is getting Getting close, it turns uh, yellow and then red when uh, your time is up. So after you speak, or your two minutes are up, then you can go back and sit in the gallery of the chambers and wait for other speakers to finish. Then the board will deliberate on your particular item and take a vote. So there's nothing more American than being able to come to a public meeting and express your opinions on an agenda item. It truly means a lot. When someone is willing to take the time, make the effort, prepare a speech, and present it to the Board of Supervisors, if you don't do that, we don't know where you stand or what your opinions might be. So exercise your rights every chance you get. Come to a Board of Supervisors meeting or your City Council's meeting and speak up. Tell us what's on your mind. It's your absolute right to do that.